I'm Zena. I'm a chemist and I work with business development in Heldor Topso. What I find really interesting is grading. And the reason is that grading is such a standard part of a hydroprocessing reactor loading, yet we don't always think about what a vital role it has played, it does play, and it will play for hydroprocessing. When active grading rings were introduced 40 years ago, it made a big difference because the typical cycle length of a hydroprocessing unit became much longer. Today, active grading rings, along with a variety of other grading products, are a normal and indispensable part of the catalyst loading. So it's interesting to think about 40 years from now, if we look back, will we find that grading has yet again made a big difference? I think yes. I imagine and hope that in 40 years, the world of grading is looking very different because the industry is altered. Where today we connect grading with hydroprocessing of mainly fossil feeds in order to produce transportation fuels. In 40 years, it'll be about processing all kinds of feed. In addition to fossil, it'll be bio and renewables in order to produce all kinds of products. This, of course, will require us to handle new types of contaminants that will be in these various feeds, and so we will need enhanced grading capabilities. But that's all about the new. What I'm most excited to see in 40 years is how we're managing the old. We're already seeing today that industries are taking part in the shift towards a world that's more sustainable, recyclable, towards a circular economy. And grading actually plays a vital part already in that today, because grading protects the bulk catalyst from permanent poisons that would make it unfeasible to regenerate and reuse. But what about the grading itself? In 40 years, when we're processing all these new types of funky feeds, we will have to deal with large amounts of contaminants. So the grading volumes will increase, maybe become as big as the bulk catalyst volumes, if not bigger. So it will be good business to regenerate or reuse the grading as well. So let me dream big here. In 40 years, we can regenerate or recycle 100% of all catalysts, including grading. To make this all happen, I think we'll see close collaboration and intersection between businesses. So grading suppliers and grading buyers will work together to optimize these circular processes. And I think they'll use a lot the synergy that will be between catalyst and technology and digitalization. So for example, I think we'll have a lot of uh, mechanical solutions that can reduce the grading volumes needed because large amounts of contaminants can be trapped in a very small volume. Kind of like we have scale catchers today where iron scales can be trapped in the small volume in the top of the reactor. Then there's the whole digital part. We'll be able to do real-time monitoring and modeling in ways that we cannot even imagine. Just think of the lengths that we have reached in the last 40 years or even just the last few years with us today talking about the industrial internet of all things and digital services being available. So what will be the next? All of this will ensure that we can squeeze the maximum potential out of the grading. These are some of my thoughts on it. And to some people, it might seem that I'm really stretching it here, and some might think that I'm being conservative. And I tend to agree with the latter, just because there are so many innovative people out there that are business-minded and environmentally conscious, and we can get so far. I, for one, am definitely excited to be a part of it.